All right, welcome back everyone to yet another video. I know I'm wearing the same t-shirt three videos in a row. That's because I'm recording three videos in a row and then I like try to upload them when I have time. And then I try to like record more so that you don't have like three weeks when I don't have any video videos when, when, uh, when my friends that I live with are like partying and stuff like that. Cause I'm not a party boy or am I? And, uh, Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, we're just gonna continue with the uh, um, with the RPG multiplayer series. Uh, in the last video where we picked off, I told you I would do the rotation of the uh, AI and some cleaning up the cleaning up the uh, attack animations and making it look a little bit nicer. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, before we jump into it, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions or whatever, just let me know in the comments and I will answer you. I try to answer all the comments, uh, even if it sometimes take one or two days. So yeah, let's jump into it. This is going to be one of those videos where I shift a little bit because I've done this in previous projects and I never remember exactly how to do it. Uh, we're not going to do it the way that I start started uh, last time. Uh, we're going to do two functions. First, custom event. And this is going to be called event rotate towards target. Now we're going to do another custom event, and this is going to be event stop rotating towards target. And I don't think they need to be replicated. Ah, actually, uh, before we do that, I forgot to check. Sometimes I forget to check in like the videos. Uh, let's see if the weapon attachment and stuff like that is actually working. It seems to be working. Ah, I don't want it to disappear when I'm clicking on this one. It does. Let's, let's play with this one instead. Then. It seems to be working, so that's nice. Okay, good. I realized I forgot to check the replication in the previous videos. So all is good and well. Let me know in the comments if there's a bug or something, and I'll clean that up. Anyway, so uh, we are going to be using a timeline to rotate because you, you could skip a timeline. You could do uh, just straight up act, set the actor rotation and, and do it on the tick or something like that. This is going to be fairly performant and we want to, I'm, I'm going to get to it. Uh, basically, we want to do a do once, I think. I'm not, yeah. This works, so don't complain. Uh, I'm gonna sheet and look at my other screen because this is how I managed to solve it in my other videos. And I'm, I'm gonna explain why I do it this way because I've seen a lot of other tutorials do it in different ways. Uh, we wanna do a timeline. And this is gonna be the rotation timeline. I'm not entirely sure you can do it however you want to. I do somewhere between three and five seconds. Let's do three. And it's gonna be a float and it's gonna be rotation timeline. Sorry if I'm moving fast here. And so add timeline, double click on your timeline, add a new float track, set the length, length to three seconds. And at the start, add key to float turn. And we're gonna do zero, zero. And then we're gonna add another key, and this is gonna be on three seconds, the value is gonna be one. So for three seconds, it goes from zero to one. Let's just move some of that. Perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna see what the next step is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where did I forget? Do, 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 do. Huh. I lost it on my other screen, in all my tabs. 
One second. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to do is on the update, we are going to set actor rotation. So maybe you actually don't need a timeline for this when I think about it. It works well with a timeline, so I'm just going to keep it. Uh, so basically, the rotation timeline, this returns the value between 0 and 1, which is basically going to be the alpha. So we're going to do a lerp, maybe lerp rotator. There we go. So connect the rotation timeline to the alpha and the return value to the set actor rotation. And we're going to lerp from current uh, get actor rotation from the rotation of the self. And this is what always gets me because uh, I suck at this, so I'm just going to copy it. Uh, we're going to lerp from basically, oh, not the target player. Uh, don't we have a target? Okay, we should we should make a target player actually here. Uh, let's just do closest player for now. So this is now only gonna work on the closest player. So we should update so we actually have one final target as well. So basically, you get your actor rotation, and you split the struct pin by right clicking and uh, doing split struct pin. Then you make a rotator. And the make rotator, the x is going to be the uh, x of the actor rotation, the y is going to be the y of the actor rotation, but the c, z, or whatever is going to be you get the actor location of the self, get the actor location of the target, which is going to be the closest player in this case, and then you find the look at rotation between those two. And from the yaw value, you connect that. That's basically it. And here is why we're doing it this way. You could do this actually probably in maybe a timer function as well. But the problem with timer functions and everything like that is that then you're going to... The, the problem is going to be with the alpha. So this is why the timeline is nice. Because if you do like a timer function that repeats could do like world delta seconds or something like that but this just works better and the reason is because of this one as well shortest path i find like i did a few tutorials when i was new and it worked but sometimes the, play, the character like takes a long way around to rotate instead of the shortest path this seems to work because it always went in the same direction when rotating when I followed some other tutorials. Um, but this seems to work. So that's nice. Uh, basically, what we're going to do now is if we are stopping, we are going to stop. So if we trigger the stop function, we're going to... Uh, oh, actually, this is going to be play from start and this is going to be stop. And when we stop, we are also going to reset the do once. That should be it. Actually, also, get the closest player is valid. So that if we don't have a closest player target, and we are for some reason doing an attack in a way, it's not going to update. Perfect. So now we need to do another. This is a little bit how you want to do it. Um, you could you could do the function here. Um, start rotate. Nope. Rotate towards target. You could do the function here, 
and only rotate towards the, the player when you're actually mid-swing or something. I'm going to do a separate state for this. So AI rotate to target. And on the begin, I'm not going to enable condition because on this one, we are going to rotate towards target. And on the notify end, we are going to stop rotate towards target. So that means that we will rotate towards the target during this state, basically. But never longer than three seconds. So it's going to take three seconds to do an entire 360 degrees at most. And if you feel like it's taking too long, you could reduce the timeline length and it's going to go faster. Uh, so yeah, let's go into our troll enemy. Find the attacks. Add a new notify track. Notify state AI rotate to target. So basically, I want to rotate to to target during the entire animation for this one, or, or somewhere around there. And not that one. We're just ignoring the grab attack for now. And this one, yeah. Basically, I just want to show it works. You, you, you set this up the way you want to. I'm just going to do a lot of rotating. Um, in a proper game, you would probably do it in only like the swing or something like that, because it's going to be hard if, if, if the AI automatically always turns towards your character. It's going to be hard to dodge and stuff like that. Bam, you see, we no longer have, yeah. And you can always obviously do like different for different attacks. You can see that he's clearly turning towards the player now. So it's a lot better. And now we don't have this annoying problem of the AI. Looks like even if we go behind him now, he's gonna turn towards our player. as long as he does a rotating attack. So that solved like the biggest issue, as you can see. So yeah, attack is looking way better. We are at 13 minutes. Should we continue? My friends are probably gonna pop up here anytime soon, so maybe Maybe I'm just going to pause.